Pharmacies, and they've done some incredible fundraisers. So let's bring up Eastern Passage to the, to the stage, please. Down. We'll do a photo. Ready? Oh, the WEAC team is fabulous. We've got 33 super enthusiastic kids this year. Uh, they're extremely eager to get out to the community, especially to raise money for free the children. For locally, during Halloween, we went around and instead of asking for candy, we asked for canned foods and non-perishable foods. And for globally, we raised a, we did a bunch of fundraisers to build a school. Um, it was important to me because I wanted to do something with my life, and Free the Children really inspired me after I first saw one of their assemblies that they had in the school, and after that, I just really wanted to join. Uh, Jane and Simone, they're grade seven, so they're new to the committee, and we've only known them for a short time, and already we see leadership qualities in them, and so much enthusiasm. They've definitely changed my life. I really want to help people, and I feel like I probably would have gone down a different path if it wasn't for Free the Children. Really? Yeah. Like now? Um, like, I don't think I would have considered people as important as I do now, and the fact that you need to look out for other people. Yeah. But I would like, like to be a teacher, I think, to help like teach people and I think it'd be fun to help people open their eyes. And I don't think I would ever look at things the same way now. And we have seen over each year and over the last three years the growth in our group members that they step forward and become leaders and we do see big changes in them. Leaders in their school and their community. Our school over the last two years raised 11500 ish dollars for Free the Children and also we do other things in the community like collect from the food bank and uh, do volunteering and things like that. We're so lucky to have what we have here and they see what other people don't so they thought a school was an obvious place to start. And I did research on tons of schools and it hit home because I was like, you know, people shouldn't deserve like this life. And I couldn't pick what school I wanted the money to go to. So it was a really hard decision and I knew that, you know, equally all of them should have schools and education. And that made me want to help. So We don't know much about the school Sierra Leone yet. We have yet to get that information. Uh, but as a group, we researched the countries that Free the Children um, raise this money for and we had the students actually research each country and they decided as a group that they thought Sierra Leone was the, the country that was most in need. Through the group, through the We Day itself and the different functions that we have, we see them being inspired and, and coming away with ideas and it's really, it warms the heart, you know, to see that, to that growth. It feels incredible. I, like, you can only imagine how much it means to us, but how much it means to the people we're building a school for. And I think that's just, like, insane how a bunch of people under the age of, like, 15, 16 can do that. I always thought that I would grow, like, uh, Spencer West, grow up, have a job, that the normal life, but now that I know that there's a whole different path to go, I'm going to go see that path and see what I can do and experiment with it. I learned that even if you're just one person, you can make a lot of changes just by doing little things in your community and then eventually it can even be spread worldwide. My former colleague Janet Burton, who I love and admire, she moved last year, she was a huge part of the group and I would like her to be recognized too. She couldn't be here with us tonight, but much love for Janet. Put your dreams into words and your words into action.